Coming up on tonight's nightly news, top EU stories from the unit website include copyright laws under review as EU Parliament defends right of fair use. Brussels plenary sessions are cancelled for a year. The EU negotiates for a partnership with Kazakhstan. Plus, in our letters section, I receive a letter from the Royal Bank of Scotland. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. The European Commission has set out its stall with regard to copyright law. It has proposed new legislation due in 2014 which will define fair use more clearly for consumers. ACTA, the anti-counterfeiting trade agreement, which was rejected by the Parliament in July after thousands of activists signed petitions. Of course, with this comes the usual rhetoric from the corporate sector about the high rates of copyright infringement. Links to the full story are below. It's also worth pointing out that there is also a rapidly growing digital sector which actively promotes the sharing of software, music and art under permissive licences which grant full freedom of use including copying. Indeed, this show is created as a Creative Commons licensed product for free distribution. Share it, edit it, copy it as much as you like. Google Creative Commons, Free Software Foundation and Open Source for more information. Brussels plenaries are suspended, at least until November 2013. Apparently, work on the chamber ceiling will take longer than expected. Well, given the tough economic climate, laying off a bunch of Eurocrats for a year seems like... Sorry? Oh, it, ap it appears that they're not being laid off. The European Commission is looking at an alternative venue at... It's not, you know, no. Uh, apparently, alternative venues are not being found and the Euro Fat Cats will stay on the payroll. <laughs> I reported yesterday the EU announced a 1.7% salary increase. No doubt they'll get that too. It looks like Baroness Ashton is being successful in persuading the stands that Europe is where it's at. This report in our legislation section looks at the Kazakhstan's ambition to deepen relations with the EU. There are of course many hurdles to overcome. State brutality by anti-riot police, abuse of human rights, lack of democratic process. Of course, it's Baroness Ashton's job to persuade the Kazakhs that Europe can overcome these little glitches. Recently, I received a letter from the Royal Bank of Scotland and in it, David Gillespie wrote... Um, as you will be aware, the European Commission requires us to sell part of our UK banking business, including RBS br branches in England and Wales. Now, the European Parliament website explains why. State aid is prohibited under the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union. Nevertheless, some exceptions authorise aid justified by common interest objectives, i.e. for services of general economic interest, as long as they do not distort competition in such a way as to be against the public interest. The monitoring of state aid carried out by the European Commission therefore consists of striking a balance between positive and negative effects of aid. Great. Post offices, banks, energy providers, railways, the EU kleptocrats are mugging us, and telling us to smile while they do it. Today in our video library, the second part of Greece, Bust and Broken. This special report by the BBC, which is presented by Stacey Dooley. And the links are below. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit, And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of our team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.